Hey there Cosmic Warriors and welcome back to my Zodiac Signs as student series. Okay, so in today's video we are going to be taking a look at the Scorpio student as I describe three different school subjects that I personally think can be associated with the sign of Scorpio. Now this video can resonate with you if you have any of your personal planets within the sign of Scorpio, but it is strongly directed towards those of you who have your Mercury in Scorpio or the sign of Scorpio ruling your third house. Now, I would also like to further mention here that even if you're not at school anymore, even if you're not a student anymore, I still recommend watching this video because it still can resonate, especially given that these things can also be applied to your everyday life as well. Now, before we do get started, however, if you would like to know more information all about the sign of Gemini through the houses, as well as your Mercury sign, your Mercury house, along with the third house in astrology, then I have created a Gemini sleep season slash Gemini archetype ebook. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide a link to that ebook in the description box below so that you can pick up your copy today. So with all those introductions out of the way, Mercury in Scorpio slash Scorpio ruling the third house. Let's do this. Now, the first subject that I chose for you, Scorpio, is chemistry. So we're looking at science here. And the reason for why I chose this subject, Scorpio, is because chemistry can be associated with alchemy. And alchemy can be something that you may know a little thing or two about. Because the thing about alchemy is that alchemy is a medieval forerunner of chemistry. And what alchemy essentially is about, well, it's to do with transformation. It's to do with creation. It's to do with combination. A few words that can be associated with your very sign. And apparently alchemists, they made medicines and pharmaceuticals as they aimed to understand the material basis of the world and it was the turning of lead into gold that symbolized a spiritual transmutation. They basically believed that they can turn any substance into gold and in the process they could prolong life and cure illness. So basically Scorpio alchemy is concerned with the transmutation of matter and it's the study of chemistry then right? that is about matter and energy and how the two interact between one another. But why is it that you might enjoy studying the likes of chemistry though? Well, for one, it's going to mean plenty of research and investigation because what you're going to do through chemistry is you're going to study how elements work in different conditions as well as how they are mixed and you'll also be able to work out what they are made out of. And it's all of these different things that you may have this high curiosity towards because of how much investigation is involved. Yes, Scorpio, these things will require much planned out research and you will also be required to develop your data handling skills here as well. Plus, through chemistry, you must be an independent, strong-minded thinker who is persistent as you conduct your own investigations. And it's all of these certain skills, Scorpio, that you can develop that can actually come in really good use when it comes to career opportunities here. So for example, you could enter into the fields or the likes of engineering, medicine or software development. All of these different fields may be fields that you're interested in. Chemistry is also a subject that can enhance your analytical skills, which can be useful within your everyday life, Scorpio. So for example, chemistry can help you understand current events. So looking at different news about the environment, about pollution, it can also help you understand which household chemicals are dangerous. So which ones should, should not be kept together or mixed together, as well as helping you understand why the world 
operates around you. You just might have so many questions about the world around you and chemistry can be one of those subjects that once applied can answer some of these questions. Chemistry can basically just make life a little bit less mysterious for you Scorpio and we all know how you enjoy learning about the mysteries of life. Some things to learn here though, well, there is a tendency of you becoming fixated on what you're learning here. I mean, if your desire is to get an A in your chemistry test, then you will aim to master the goal of that, to get that A, by mastering your own willpower and concentration and focus towards achieving that goal, towards achieving that A or that, de that desired outcome with your deep, deep mindset. However, there is a possibility of your mind going to the extreme <laughs> where you just can't seem to get certain thoughts out of your head. So what I mean by this is that you may find it rather difficult to let go of certain thoughts until you have investigated the depths of the situation or the subject. So with that in mind, it could be a matter of you questioning things, but then the questioning of things just leads to more questions and then you just find yourself stuck, just stuck in, a continuous stream of research that you just want to know. You, you will not rest <laughs> until you figure it out, Scorpio. Your approach is that you may not be able to quite put your finger on the answer or on what you're learning, but you know that there's more to it. There's more to explore. There's more to that topic or situation. Basically, you know inside of you, instinctively, intuitively, that there's more to what you're learning or more to what you're being taught. And this right here is one of your strengths with this placement, but at the same time, it can also lead you into these territories that can become rather dangerous to your own mental well-being. So if this happens, then maybe it would be a good idea to step back from the computer screen, to step back from your phone, to step back from the books and the materials. Because after all, Scorpio, your mental health is important as it is for everyone, but it's you who has the tendency of concentrating and focusing so much on a piece of information that you can deny other areas of your life. And besides, what does it really mean to get to the bottom of things? Because the minute you think you've hit the bottom, you sink even further. The second subject I chose then, Scorpio, is psychology. Now the thing about psychology is, well, it's probably going to be a subject that you're most likely going to study at college or university if you decide to go to college or university. So with that in mind, this could resonate, resonate for those of you who actually have Scorpio ruling your ninth house. But still, psychology can be used within your everyday life as well. And so yeah, I chose this subject, Scorpio, because it involves studying people. So who and what are people? <laughs> Why do people act the way they do? Why do they think the way they do? How does the body and the mind work together? See, you might be greatly interested in how the brain works and functions. And so it's through the study of psychology that you can learn that you're not alone in your thoughts and you're also not alone in your problems either. You can gain a deeper understanding about yourself and others through learning psychology and also through this heightened state of awareness, you can then assess situations that you're in and also handle them better. For example, when it comes to handling your emotions or being able to handle negative circumstances in a much more rational way. And naturally in this way, your critical thinking is improved as well as your communicative skills here, Scorpio. Plus through studying psychology, you can also learn how to handle stress and also how to form healthier relationships with others. And it's all of these different things that you learn from psychology that can make you a powerful communicator, a powerful speaker, where you come from a place of questioning and understanding rather than from a place of assumptions and projections. 
Furthermore, you can also develop a sharper mind by studying psychology and you can also perform much experimentation which you might be greatly interested in. Psychology as well can also lead to different job or career opportunities here too. So for example, you could go into work within hospitals and clinics. You could work within the government where you're helping soldiers with the likes of PTSD, for example. Or you could go to work within business where you study the behaviours of the consumers, resulting in the increasing of profitability. Ultimately, Scorpio, psychology can enhance your research, problem solving, reasoning and analytical skills. Some things to learn here is, well, there is a tendency of you being compulsive. Uh, powerfully so. And by compulsive, I mean that you might find it relatively difficult to resist any strong intense urges that you have when it comes to what you're learning or taking in. For example, you might feel really, really deeply compelled to expose someone else or shed a light on their hidden complexities, but during your deep desire to do so, you might forget about all of the tracks that you have not covered yet. Or it's more that you can be driven forward to such an extreme that you might actually land yourself into a difficult situation where it can result in you just digging yourself a bigger hole than the one you might have been in beforehand. Yep, Scorpio, if at any time you feel others are trying to dominate you, you will react intensely. So just be aware of this because this type of behaviour of course can result in confrontations that are pretty fierce and destructive. So I guess the challenge here it lies in how you disclose information in a way that doesn't leave you and others being on the defence or on the attack. Perhaps taking the time to perform some self-examination would actually be good for you. So for example, addressing your intentions, especially any hidden unconscious intentions you might have. So why do you decide to share information? What will sharing that information bring you? And how will sharing that information benefit your life? But at the same time, it's important that you don't let things build up either because silent resentment can build up within your body and this can poison your attitude towards other people, towards relationships, towards life. So sure Scorpio, it is important for you to get things off your chest, but it's also good for you to identify the ways in which you do it. All right, so the third and final subject that I chose is religious education. So this is quite interesting because I have Scorpio ruling my third house and I was one of the top performers when it came to Ari in class. So with that in mind, you might actually go on to study the likes of theology at university or college if you are interested in religious education, but it is the study of RE that can enhance so many skills for you, Scorpio. So for example, through studying RE, you can develop your imagination as a way to identify feelings such as forgiveness, such as love. Um, RE or, or religious education can also help you draw more meaning from different symbolism or meaning from different religious texts and it can also help you distinguish the differences between what is an opinion, what is a belief and also what is factual. Plus, religious education is one of those subjects that can involve a lot of debating. For example, what are your views when it comes to sexual orientation? What are your views when it comes to gender identity? What are your views when it comes to abortion, euthanasia? Is marriage outdated in your opinion? Should animals be used for medical research? Basically, RE can trigger so many deep questions in your mind. Questions that you just have this strong desire to learn more about. Questions that you're ready and you're willing to explore, Scorpio. Therefore, you can learn how to structure your ideas and your viewpoints more clearly by learning or studying religious education. 
Plus, you can also listen to other people's viewpoints through this, you know, this debating back and forth. And you can also reflect on how ideas and emotions are explored and portrayed. RE is certainly a subject that expresses both your critical thinking and your empathy awareness. It will help you develop your evaluation skills and how to take a sensitive approach to different beliefs and cultures, whilst also encouraging you to use your imagination and your creativity as well. Furthermore, I would also like to mention here that it calls on you to question what is real. See, the thing is, is that you're a sign associated with what's hidden. As you seek to explore the hidden facets of life, and so by studying religious education, you can identify the cracks that are maybe often overlooked. I mean, what is all of this religious stuff really all about anyway? And what is this heaven and hell that everybody is referring to? And why is it that we live our lives according to such an outlook? See, you seek to know more, and by more, I mean that you cut through the BS. Yes, you might be aware of a higher purpose or a higher power, but you still understand that fellow man has hidden intentions, that fellow man possesses deep emotion, and it's you who might show an immense curiosity towards trying to figure these very things out. And besides, you are the sign represented with all things taboo. So you might have no problem with making things a little bit uncomfortable by bringing up subjects and topics that others may shy away from. Okay, so some things to learn from here. Well, there is a tendency of you using the information that you are learning as a way to manipulate others. Now, that's not to say that you're aware that you may do this. Besides, if you really think about it, we all sort of manipulate each other in some shape or form through our communication, whether we're aware of it or not. And this could be something as small as you just using a piece of information as a way to sway somebody else's opinion so that they agree with you. Maybe you feel deeply emotional about a certain issue within this RE class that you're in. So going back to debating, maybe you're debating about abortion. You might use your strong, intense emotions as a way to make the other person or persons feel bad about their viewpoint. And this is because your emotions are just so strong that you must feel in control of the situation because if you don't, you might just crumble. And you might not be able to stand the thought of others seeing you crumble or crack or break. Therefore, Scorpio, you are learning to express your opinion in a less emotionally forceful way. So trying to remain objective towards the issue or towards the topic at hand, rather than coming across as this person who doesn't know when to stop probing and tugging at other people's emotions in order for them to finally feel what you feel based upon what you think towards a particular subject or situation. Okay then, Cosmic Warriors, so that concludes my video on the Scorpio student. Now, if you happen to have your Mercury in Scorpio or Scorpio ruling your third house, then I would like to hear from you in the comment section to let us know what you thought of the video today, just to really see how much it resonated. So with all that being said then, thank you so much for watching, thank you for subscribing, and of course, if you would like to see more videos from myself and you have not yet subscribed, then go right ahead and click the subscribe button, and I will be back with another video very very soon. Bye!